What is going on YouTube? I am Jerem here. Obviously Set is the newest champion in League of Legends. He, he just dropped on patch 10.1 a couple days into the patch. We're starting off the new season with a new champion which is always really really exciting. So a ton of people have been talking about Set. Obviously and for good reason. He's a very simple very easy to pick up champion to play but he is pretty strong right now. Even though slash R slash Set mains will try to convince you that the champion's weak. Maybe he even needs some buffs or he's perfectly balanced or whatever. Uh, after you play against Set a couple of times and he's kind of new kind of frustrating really easy to pull off. I think you'll notice that he is really, really strong and honestly a great option to be climbing with right now at the beginning of the, the season when everyone's trying to climb up as fast as they can, get back to their old ranks, all that great stuff. So that's why I wanted to make this video right now, kind of going over what the best rune, what the best builds, all that stuff is so you guys can all be really successful on set as soon as possible so you don't have to do a bunch of games trying to learn the best build through trial and error, all that stuff because there's been people just absolutely spamming set. So now a couple days into the patch, we know what works on him, we know what's good and we know how to climb as him right now uh, on the screen we actually have a diamond two set player he's played something like 80 set games or 50 set games something like that he has like an 80% win rate just climbing through diamond uh, so we're gonna be looking at what he does what his build what his rune all that stuff and kind of just talking about set in general so you guys can get all that information you can start climbing with him fast because again he is really simple really easy to pick up there's no crazy mechanics no crazy anything that you need to know about him he all his abilities are pretty straightforward no crazy skill shots um, so yeah, if, he, if you, he looks interesting, if he looks fun, I definitely recommend you picking up and playing him very, very soon uh, because he might be getting nerfed very, very shortly, but right now he's definitely strong. So first I want to run through just your different rune options and what I think is the best rune choice. Uh, pretty much across the board, the highest play rate in all divisions, high elo, low elo, every region and stuff, is going to be the Conqueror on set. Conqueror is just so good. Uh, even in Season 9 it was so good, but in Season 10 it's really good too. Having that increased healing, the increased damage, it's just really, really great. Uh, set does stack the Conqueror very, very well with his autos. He gets a ton of autos off. He can stack that really fast with his passive having like the left, right getting a bunch of autos off he has a bunch of abilities he can stick to people really well he's really great with conquer there's some great synergy there that is the highest play rate and really solid win rates across the board uh, there actually is a grass build for set as well it's a little more tanky does a little less damage a little less healing um, but you do just become a massive massive tank because you are usually going to be building tank on set anyway so grass is also an option too i've seen aftershock i've seen press the attack and i've seen ominous stone i would say those three are all a little bit worse than conquer and grass but if those sound interesting to you a go for it but i would definitely say conquer is the way to go and this player uh, the page he's actually going is Conqueror into Triumph into Legend Alacrity, Coup de Gras with uh, Demolish and Overgrowth Secondary. So I think that is definitely the best rune. I think Resolve Secondary is going to be the way to go most of the time with the Conqueror Primary. But if you want to try out that Grass or even Omnistone, as Omnistone keeps getting buffed pa patch after patch, that could be interesting as well. But in my opinion, and in the opinion of most players, Conqueror is going to be just busted on him and definitely the way to go. As far as the build, I know I had made a set video previously and kind of just brainstormed about some different builds and all that stuff, but now we've actually seen what the best build is and the build that I'm seeing a lot of the high elo set players going and the build I think you guys should definitely try out if you're wanting to climb fast and just win a ton of games on set is going to be Tiamat into Merc Treads, into Black Cleaver, Spirit Visage, and then finishing that Titanic Hydra, and then just going situational tank items after that, depending on what their build and the other team and where their damage is coming from, who's fed, all that stuff. But that core of like that three or four items is going to be so, so great. I think you need to get that Tiamat early on set because his wave clear isn't very good. He doesn't have like great, reliable wave clear because um, he just has the one ability as W is able to hit the wave. Nothing else can. Um, but what, with that team at, then you can finally get some wave clear, get some pressure, start, uh, you know, shoving that wave, pressure in the tower, run around the map, all that stuff. Um, but without the team at, you're probably just going to get shoved in and kind of have a bad time. Uh, the Merc Treads, he is obviously in a mobile juggernaut that gets kited, very susceptible to CC. So Merc Treads is going to be really, really great. Obviously, if the other team doesn't have a ton of CC or they're heavy AD, Ninja Tabbies is going to be pretty interchangeable with Merc Treads. But Merc Treads is going to be your best bet most of the time. Most teams are going to have some form of hard TC that's really going to shut you down if you don't have tenacity. And if you're not taking Legend Tenacity, like I don't, I recommend you taking Legend Alacrity. So if you don't have Legend Tenacity, then you're going to want to get those Merc Treads for sure. Black Cleaver, always good on Juggernaut getting that ad getting a little bit of health getting cdr always going to be great 
Spirit Visage, super, super good. You're trying to get tank, get that increased healing. Get uh, It's actually going to increase the healing on your Conqueror as well, so you just become more and more unkillable. And since you have that true damage on your W, the longer you can stay alive, the more damage you can pump out. You stack your Conqueror, you get more Ws off. You just become really, really annoying. You have AoE CC. So just... Uh, getting ways to increase your healing, staying alive, increasing your longevity in fights is going to get the most out of set. So that's why Spirit Visage is good, and then Titanic Hydra. Just you just want to you know ha build an item out of that team. You're not going to go Ravenous Hydra, so Titanic is the one that makes sense. And then just the situational tank items after that. But that's what you need. I theorized kind of at the beginning that maybe Sunfire Cape would be better on him, but a lot of people aren't taking Sunfire Cape. I think Dead Man's Plate would be another good situational item after because Dead Man's Plate is always good on Juggernauts and it's pretty strong right now. Uh, but with that core of Cleaver, Visage, and the Titanic Hydra, you are really, really strong in some mid-game. You can become a monster. You can be so annoying and definitely carry games. There's people putting up crazy scores, crazy stats, crazy win rates on set. And I think you guys can do it too, because he, again, he's super, super easy to play. There's nothing really crazy about him. Obviously, like other Juggernauts, he's very kiteable, very susceptible to CC. He can definitely be shut down, but a lot of people aren't respecting his shield and his W damage right now. The true damage on the W in the mid game is absolutely disgusting. I'm seeing people get like one shot by it. Uh, the CC sets up, sets you up really easily for massive Ws. Also, people go to fight you, you start to get low and they start getting really excited, but then you get your grit like all the way up, then you get this massive shield and it's just disgusting. People don't really know what set does right now. And if you don't know what set does either, I actually did post a set guide a couple weeks ago. Definitely go check that out on my channel. But if you know what set does and you're going in with the best rune page in the best build possible you are going to be set up for success and for the last couple days of this patch you're just going to absolutely be able to climb even if they nerf him a little bit in patch 10.2 or maybe 10.3 if they weren't able to get anything out uh, by then he's going to be super super strong you're going to climb very very fast and i definitely would recommend you guys doing this for sure he does need tp in the top lane i wouldn't go crazy with anything like ignite or anything like that um, but with TP, you're going to be in good shape. Also, the one thing that I've been a little bit surprised by Set is how underwhelming his ultimate is. Don't be expecting to be doing massive damage in team fights or anything with your ultimate. Uh, it is really nice CC, a really nice lockdown. But even though the ultimate looks crazy, looks like you're dunking and just exploding the other team, it's kind of it's pretty hard to use, hard to pull off a good one, and it does a lot less damage than I thought. But uh, his other three abilities, the Q, W, and E, are all really, really strong right now. I definitely think the W is a little overtuned. It, it seems very, very strong. If there's something they're going to nerf, I think they could nerf the W and maybe add some damage to the ultimate or a little bit of strength or reliability to the ultimate. Uh, maybe make it so you don't have to go max range all the time or something. Um, but th those are just a few of my impressions of set right now. But I think... He's very strong. I hate playing against him. I see a lot of people picking him, a lot of people banning him, uh, and in the high elos, he's definitely having some success, so I think he'll be able to work in your guys' games as well. But that's pretty much it for, for this video today, guys. Make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure you subscribe so you have all my League of Legends content. We've got tons more guides, strategies, tips, tricks, you know, news, all that great stuff coming to you guys. Just a ton of League of Legends content. I'm really excited for Season 10. I hope you guys are too. So again, definitely subscribe to stay up to date on all of that stuff coming from me. It's a great way to support me if you enjoy what I do and you enjoy my channel. But everything's been going super great lately. I'm, you know, you guys have been showing a ton of love. So hopefully we can just continue with that. Um, but yeah, hopefully I see you guys on the next video. Until then, peace.